What's up guys? Imagine you could have a compact sidearm that shoots fully automatic and has a 100 round magazine capacity. On top of that, it's also quiet if you attach a suppressor and it works in all kinds of temperatures and is incredibly reliable. This is the Novridge SSC 18. Do you guys remember the very first videos that I published on the YouTube channel? Exactly, I was running an AEP. And actually the only reason why I changed to gas blowing pistols is because, you know, they just look a bit cooler in videos. But when it comes to performance and feature set and firepower, an AEP is really hard to beat. So let me guide you through the features of why an AEP is a great sidearm. First of all is the incredible firepower. The SSA 18 does 15 rounds per second and you can have 100 rounds magazines, which means that when you see a guy in a bush and you really want to make sure that some of the BBs get through the bush, put your SC18 there, pull the trigger and a hundred BBs go in there straight away. No cooldown, no problem whatsoever. And if you're not worried about magazines, there's no reason for this because this 100 round magazine costs actually less than half of a 30 round gas blowback magazine. Also, the small magazines here, the stick type ones, you can have so many of them on you that you will basically never run out of ammo. Up next is reliability. No matter the temperature, an AP will always work. You will never have cooldown, you will never have the gas just coming out of your pistol like you have it on gas blowback pistols in winter. And then also, if it's too hot, there's no light striking. So really, no matter which time of the year, just bring your AP to the field and you're gonna kill it. On top of that, APs are incredibly convenient to use. First of all, they run forever basically, so you don't really need to do maintenance or anything like this, just throw it into your gear bag and you're good to go. Also, you don't have to worry about gas, you know, it happened to all of us that you're at a game and you run out of gas or you forgot your gas bottle or whatnot. Just plug in a battery and you're good to go. And also, these batteries are USB chargeable, so you can plug them on a power bank, you can charge them in your car, you can charge them probably even at the field if there's a power plug somewhere. So really, the AP is the kind of thing that you just throw into your gear bag, you go to a game, and when everything fails, you can still run your SSD 18. What I personally underestimated in the creation of the SSD 18 is how quiet you can actually make these things. With this suppressor attached, which, by the way, you can still holster your gun, so no reason to worry about that. With this modular suppressor attached here, you can get incredible results. Because when you shoot an AP, you wrap your hands around the gearbox, so you can barely hear the gearbox itself, and most of the sound is actually coming from the muzzle. Now, I personally wasn't aware of this, because previously you couldn't really holster an AP with a round suppressor, unless you use soft shell, but then you use your magazines and so on. So with the creation of this rectangular suppressor, this is a stealth killer, yeah? Full auto, does 15 rounds per second, and you can barely hear it. So that's also a big advantage of an AEP over a gas blowback pistol. And last but not least is the price. APs are just a lot cheaper than gas blowback pistols. Not just the product itself, but also the magazines are less than half the price, and also running them is cheap. Like you don't need to buy CO2, you don't need to buy gas, you just charge your battery and you're good to go. So the SSE 18 is a great choice if you're on a low budget and you want to get into airsoft, but at the same time, it is actually a high performance powerhouse and a great sidearm for everyone. Now, if you decided to get yourself an AP, let me tell you why the SSE 18 is currently your best bet in the market. First of all, is the modern design of a combat pistol. Here we took the SSP 18 design because you guys really, really liked it, you really enjoyed it, and this is why we also implemented it here with the SSE 18. You have all the bits and pieces, you have the slight serrations, you have a flat trigger, you have the trigger guard, undercut, you do have a Picatinny front rail, which is on spec, of course, fiber optic, a thread protector. So really, everything that you ever wanted from a modern combat pistol, you have it implemented on the SSE 18. What's totally unique in the AP world is the integrated 
14 counterclockwise thread. So if I remove the included thread protector, you're gonna see that I expose the thread which I can use for tracers, which I can use for the rectangular suppressor right here. And what's unique about it is that I can actually still holster it. So even with a compensator attached or the rectangular suppressor, you can still holster your SSE-18. Which also brings me to the spec of the pistol. Here we have a Glock 17 spec. So pretty much any hard shell holster for the Glock 17 and Glock 18, of course, will fit the SSE-18. Of course, the 14 counterclockwise thread also allows you to mount tracers. So if you really enjoy CQP play and that kind of stuff, you can totally do it with the SSE-18 out of the box. The thread itself is actually part of the metal slide, which gives you a nice realistic feel, just like on a real pistol. Also, we do have a fiber optic front side, so it's nice to aim. Also here on the rear side, we do have cuts in it, so it doesn't reflect light and absorbs it better. So no matter how the light shines, you know, from your back, you don't have the reflections on your rear side and it's very easy to engage targets. On the slide, you can also find the fire selector, which is here nice and big and easy to use. So it's not hidden in some safety or some crazy button or whatnot. It's really nice and easy to use, even if you are on target. The SC18 comes out of the box already with a LiPo battery, 7.4 volts. So you're gonna get increased fire rate over old traditional APs. And of course, there's also a MOSFET inside. So never ever you will have any frying contacts or anything like that. The LiPo battery inside the SSC18 is rechargeable with the included USB charger. So no matter where you are, you can always just plug in your USB cable, plug it together with your battery and you're all good to go. Therefore, you don't need to take out the battery from AP. You can also just remove the slide, plug it in there, plug it into your power bank, car, whatever is USB, you can charge your SSC18. Now let's talk about the accessories and why the SC18 is by far the most customizable AEP out on the market. Because as you guys know, when we launch a product at Novish.com, we don't just launch the gun, but we launch the full environment of accessories and carrying products and so on. Right here, we can see an SC18, which is fully kitted out in a race gun style. So here we have a compensator for the counterclockwise. You can just thread it on for pure looks and it does look really, really cool. Here in the back, we have the red dot plate on and red dots on an AP, it actually makes a lot of sense because when you are shooting an AP, it doesn't move at all. So you don't compromise any gas efficiency or anything like this because it's an electric pistol. And at the same time, because your gun stays so steady, you can really track the BBs and you can get really precise shots. You know, if you're in CQB and you see a guy just, you know, sticking out his elbow, one shot and you're gonna have the guy. Also here at the bottom, we have a purely cosmetic magwell, which does look very cool. And these accessories will be available in the future in lots of different colors. So you can make it red, green, violet, and whatnot. You can really make it your own. Now let's talk about this one right here. We do have a pistol flashlight, perfectly fits onto the NATO spec Picatinny rail right here. Then we do have the modular suppressor version two. So here rectangular follows the shape of the pistol. You can still holster your pistol because it perfectly fits inside the holster. And also this one is, as the name says, modular. So you can make different lengths out of it. Here we have the mid-length version, but you can even make it shorter if you don't like the idea of a long draw, you know, just make it shorter. But if you use it as a primary, go for the long one because it makes it incredibly quiet. Foam field, of course, it is a suppressor, so what else? If you enjoy to run your AP in CQB, here I already prepared a slide with a tracer attached, so no problem whatsoever. Just put your tracer on there and you're all good to go. Then here in the middle and right in front of me, you do see the magazine pouch insert because until now it was actually kind of hard to get AP magazine pouches. There is some different solutions, but I never really liked any of them. So this is why we do have here this magazine pouch insert. Fits perfectly well into the Novridge magazine pouch. So if you may be running an SSP 18, you know, during summer and you want to switch to the SSE 18 in winter, you can actually use the exact same holster and you can use the same magazine pouch. So you don't have to rearrange your gear at all. You just take this insert, you put it in there, you take the screw and you just screw it in place. And when the screw is in place, you can just take your AP magazine and slide it right in there. Not just one, but actually two of them. 
The retention is big enough, so even if I shake them, they're not gonna come out. You can also adjust the retention if you're afraid of losing them. But here we go, that's your AP magazine solution. This doesn't just work for the short magazines, but you can also use it with the long magazines. Just like here, you can even mix them. So one short one, one long one, or you just turn them around and you could put a second long one right here. Which means that you only need one magazine pouch for two magazines. And this is the, you know, this kind of explains why you can have so many of these magazines on your belt if you, you know, for example, use it as a primary, but also if you use it as a secondary. Then of course the 100 round magazine can't be missing, super lightweight, also very very affordable. This one is actually less than half the price of a gas blowback magazine with 30 rounds, but this one has a hundred. But of course if you don't want the extension here and if you want to keep it more compact, you can get the stick type magazines. Those we are also offering at knowledge.com. So as you can see, we have the entire accessory landscape for the AP. We made sure that you can still holster everything as I showed you before, even with the red dot plate on. So if you always wanted to customize an AP and create the ultimate beast, now you can with the SSE 18. Another aspect that makes the SSE 18 currently the best choice of APs in the market is the spare part availability. You will find pretty much every part of the SSE 18 in the spare part section at Novish.com. So if you somehow manage to break these workhorses, you can always just go there, get your spare part and have everything fixed. So this pistol will be with you for a lifetime, not just because of the spare part availability, but also because you will just love it for its performance. When you order the SSE 18 at knowledge.com, you will receive it in this gorgeous looking box right here. It is foam filled to make sure that when you receive your SSB 18, that everything is nice and tidy and intact. Included with it is a speed loader for loading your magazine. One stick magazine is also included with the SSE 18. Of course, a LiPo battery is included as well. This needs to be installed into the gun and please therefore watch the Norwich Academy, how that is done. Same goes for the charging. Here we have a USB charger that can go into any wall plug or laptop or whatnot. Of course the SSE 18 as well, an amazing pistol and I talked about it enough by now so you guys know. We do have a barrel cleaning rod included as well and then of course a manual. The manual has a link right there which leads you to the Norwich Academy. There's lots of useful videos on how to maintain the pistol, how to get the best range and accuracy out of it, how do you charge the batteries, how do you store the batteries and so on. So please go check that out when you get the SE18, there's lots of value in there. The SE18 is currently in stock and available right now in the European warehouse, especially interesting for the Germans out there because you're allowed to own this in full auto. So this is kind of like the only full auto product that you guys can have. At the same time, you don't have to be 18 in Germany to own or use an SSE 18. So it's a great way to get into Airsoft if you are a bit younger. For the United States, the SSE 18 is currently on pre-order. All the information on when you can finally get it, you will find on the website. So there you have it guys, the SSE 18. I'm really glad that we now have an AEP at knowledge.com because I've always been loving them. I stopped using them because, you know, in the videos they don't, it doesn't cycle the slide. So I thought it looks cooler if you use gas blowback. But honestly, my heart is with AEPs. They are just powerhouses. They shoot and shoot and shoot and never stop. They go full auto. They don't move during shooting. They can be really quiet with the suppressor. It's compact, it's reliable, I mean, this is just the kind of product that you, I think as an airsoft player, you kind of have to have it because if everything fails, you can always rely on your AP. If it gets too cold, you can always rely on your AP. And what is new now is of course, you can make it look really, really cool, which wasn't really possible before. Good, thanks for watching this video and I see you guys over at knowledge.com.